20 pro oh my god okay we gotta fly <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Wolves of Willoughby Chase. The Wolves of Willoughby Chase is a 1989 magical Walt Disney television release. It is directed by Stuart Ormy, cinematography by Paul Beeson, editing by Martin Walsh, music by Colin Towns, and it's written by William M. Akers. Stuart Ormy is best known for Jack Taylor, William & Mary, The Waiting Time, and this. Paul Beeson I covered in the video about The Little Horse Thieves. The link will be in the description. Martin Walsh is best known for Chicago, V for Vendetta, and Wonder Woman. Colin Towns is best known for Space Truckers, The Haunting of Julia, The Crow Road, and French Spies. William M. Akers is best known for The Important Things, Talking to Arthur, Lewis and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, and this. I love Lewis and Clark. Ugh. The Wolves of Willoughby Chase is based off a book of the same name by Joan Aiken, released in 1962. Shall we compare? The Willoughbys must take a vacation in warmer climates for Lady Green's health. They leave their daughter Bonnie in the care of their distant fourth cousin, Miss Slycarp. Her other cousin, Sylvia, also comes to keep her company. Sylvia and Bonnie become fast friends. They go ice skating. Wolves chase them, but Simon, a boy who lives in a cave keeping geese and bees, saves them. Slycarp and Mr. Grimshaw take over the house and dismiss all the help that isn't necessary. Slycarp wears Lady Green's clothes and alters Sir Willoughby's legal papers. Honestly, this woman's insane. Wait till the movie. Bonnie and Sylvia overhear that Bonnie's parents' ship sank. The girls try to get word to a doctor, but Slycarp foils their plans and sends them to an orphanage. Sylvia falls ill in these conditions, and Bonnie plans an escape with the help of Simon. They escape in Simon's goose cart. Sylvia recovers, and they make a two-month journey to Aunt Jane in London. Aunt Jane is near death, but she recovers. Mr. Grimshaw confesses when confronted by the family lawyer. At the mansion, the girls trick Slycarp into revealing her villainy in front of the constables, and she is arrested. Bonnie's parents return because they didn't die in the shipwreck. They adopt Sylvia. They start a school for the orphanage children with a post for Aunt Jane. The end. The book was pretty much the same as the movie until they escape from the orphanage. Then it went off the rails different, except for the parents surviving and everything. But otherwise, there were some pretty big differences. Slycarp is awful in the movie. She's downright terrible, so I can only imagine how she is in the book. But they don't escape in a goose cart. She doesn't plan an escape. Sylvia didn't fall ill. A lot different going on in the movie. I'll get there. The film stars Emily Hudson, Alex Dorowska, Stephanie Beecham, Mel Smith, Richard O'Brien, and Linton Dearden. Emily Hudson plays Bonnie, and Alex Dorowska plays Sylvia, and this is both their only credit. Stephanie Beecham plays Miss Lycarp, and she is best known for Love and Other Disasters, Dynasty, Sister Kate, and Dracula AD 1972. Mel Smith plays Mr. Grimshaw, and he's best known for The Princess Bride, National Lampoon's European Vacation, Brian Donner's, and Not the Nine O'Clock News. Richard O'Brien plays James, and he's best known for The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Dark City, Shock Treatment, and Ever after. Linton Dearden plays Simon and he's best known for The Nature of the Beast, The Bill, Drama Rama, and this. My computer is at 19% and I have to finish this and then transfer it still so I'm gonna talk a little bit fast. I'm really sorry. I know I tried to slow down for people who can't keep up with me but I'm gonna try and talk really fast. I'm gonna try and make it quick so I'm really sorry to the people who can't understand when I speak as fast as I possibly can which is about to happen. The film is about exactly what the book is about. Bonnie is being left because her parents are going on a vacation because her mother is ill in the colder weather and Sylvia is coming to stay with Bonnie to keep her company because they're similar ages and Miss Lycarp is hired to watch them while they're away. Miss Lycarp in the movie nothing about her being related to them distantly there is literally nothing about that so Miss Lycarp's just an evil mean mean lady and the thing that drove me insane about this movie was how confused I was about a few things. The first thing being, we have no idea why Miss Slycarp wants to steal from the Willoughbys specifically. We get it by halfway through the movie that she wants money, she wants the nice things, she's stealing from them because they have fortune, but we don't know, like, why or what her plan was. Like, anything. It's revealed, like, it's just, like, not enough set up. I had so many questions, and it's revealed so, like, Oh, that she knew the man that was on the train with Sylvia and they're all in on it together and the orphanage ladies in on it. And it was just so much of that not being explained or like no motivation for those people that had me like, why are they doing this? They're so mean. They're so mean. They like beat the kids. They send them to this orphanage that is absolutely horrible. It, I can't even, ha ha ha, it was so, so bad, dude. And... I just, I was really bothered by the fact that we never got an explanation about why Miss Lycarp specifically wants to steal from this family and like how much detail went into the planning because she's like freaking Mr. Grimshaw's in on it and you meet him separately and Miss Brisket's in on it and you meet her separately and it's just like so nuts. 
And then the wolves have nothing to do with the movie, which is another thing that drove me absolutely insane. Right at the beginning, it's wolves. And you're like, okay, so this movie's gonna be about wolves. It's called The Wolves of Willoughby Chase. No, the wolves are just there and they're just like a threat to everyone's safety, but they really have nothing to do with the movie except the fact that they kill two people. That's it. They kill two people in the movie. One of the, Miss Brisket and Miss Slycarp toward the end. Spoiler alert, by the way, sorry. They kill them. That's it. That's all. The, and for like raising the stakes and making it a little bit scarier. That's the only reason the wolves are in the movie. I don't know if there's another reason why they're in the book, but it sure didn't seem like it. And that drove me nuts. Why is it called the wolves of Willoughby Chase? Why are the wolves involved when they have nothing to do with the story? The orphanage was nuts. Simon's the real MVP. He's the best character. James was okay. I think in the book he might be a little bit more active and like against Miss Lycarp, but in the movie he's just a little bit like I want to keep my job but also want to take care of the girls but also I don't know. So that was a little bit infuriating. Simon is the real MVP for sure by far. The orphanage is so messed up dude. Two children die in this orphanage on screen. You see it. One kid drowns. One kid gets steamrolled by the thing that like dries out and flattens the clothing that they're washing it was dark and then sylvia almost dies in the orphanage because she's walking on this upper walkway thing that is totally not up to co obviously because this orphanage is horrible it's like a workhouse for children and she almost dies that editing incredible the music also during that incredible so like high editing and high uh music ratings for this film by far just letting you guys know this movie just i was stressed I was confused, but I had, like, I enjoyed, I don't know if I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it. Like, the acting was really well done. The girls were awesome. I really cared about them and their story, but I was also like, why is any of this happening? I'm watching it. I'm enjoying the storyline of it happening, but why is it happening? Why does Miss Slycarp want to do this to the children? Let, like, fine, she wants to steal the money, but why do all of this to the kids? It's just, I wanted to know why it was driving me nuts. Anyway, is there anything else that I have to say? Parent death, there was a parent death. Sylvia says her mother died. Uh, uh, n the wolves, nothing. Okay, great, 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 great. Joey dies, Rupert dies. No motivation. I covered it all. Yes. I enjoyed The Wolves of Willoughby Chase. I thought parts of it were really well done. The acting, the music, and the editing super stood out for me. Cinematography's fine because it's still like a television release and the quality of what I watched probably wasn't the best it could have been. So I'm sure the cinematography was a little bit better than I'm seeing, but definitely standouts were the editing, music, and acting. Those all got pretty high scores, if I'm being perfectly honest. But my final rating is a seven. The Wolves of Willoughby Chase gets seven wolves that aren't important at all out of 10 our total movie count is <laughs> our parent death toll is my <laughs> count is still the same if you want to keep up with what movie i'm watching when follow me on instagram or twitter you'll find out what movie i'm watching when i put up videos every monday wednesday and friday until next time comment like subscribe and i'm not sure if you are so you do and don't be miss Slycarp about it oh my god I'm sorry I had to go so fast. I'm so, so sorry, but I'm at 18%. I gotta stop this, but this movie was actually pretty interesting. I feel like if I wasn't distracted by a fox in my front yard playing with a chipmunk, I would have maybe cried. So, who knows? Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Bye.